Today's topic, the shoemaker whose kids have no shoes. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Act, where each day we bring you a tip, trick, or insight to help you uplevel what we call the 5-2 Thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and of course, your business. I'm recently redoing my website, DougHoltOnline.com. Now, this was my personal website, something that I threw up years ago as more of a way of exchanging my muses, my ideas, but I also have a back end to the website where I have mastermind groups and clients that I run. And frankly, I've never really paid much attention to the website itself. And over the years, it's kind of gotten outdated and doesn't really reflect what I do or who I am. Now, the reason I share this with you is I actually own two marketing agencies. And besides that, I am coaching some of the highest level performers in business that are in the world. I'm working with the best of the best. Yet my website isn't reflecting what I'm doing and what I'm up to in the world, right? It's not showcasing what I am and what I'm about. And so when I look at this, I started laughing to myself and I actually brought somebody else, a good friend of mine to audit my site. And he was laughing too. He's like, Doug, this is horrible. I can't believe you're doing this. You get paid six figures to consult and work with businesses to help them with their website and with their branding. Yet yours is crap. And when he said that to me at first, at first I wanted to get angry and, at myself and then I immediately recognized the trigger and switched and started laughing. He was totally right. I was the cobbler, the shoemaker whose kids had no shoes. I wasn't, I was giving people advice, yet I wasn't doing it. I wasn't following it for myself. Now, the reason this is important for me isn't just for vanity to have Doug Hole online, uh, my website representing me. It's not. It really isn't. What it is, is this is my opportunity, my way of giving to the world. You know, see, I set a goal two years ago to have a positive impact on over 1 million people, and we are making our way there, and I'm so proud of that. My team is doing a great job. Yet, if you didn't know me, and maybe you maybe you don't, maybe you've stumbled upon these daily growth hacks, and you, you've you gone to Google me to see who I am and, and what I'm about, you wouldn't have a representation of what I've been doing. You would see what I've been, what I was doing eight, nine years ago, not today. And I would be so upset if I ran into a business and I was consulting with a business owner and they were in the same position. I would say, geez, what are you doing? Your website is your is your modern day front door to the world. You need to be cleaning it up on a, on a regular basis, every quarter doing updates. Yet I wasn't doing it. And it started making me think, how often do we give advice? Do we go out there and say, hey, I wanna be a coach when you actually haven't hired a coach? You know, I get that a lot too. I get people reaching out to me and saying, Doug, you know, how can I be a successful coach? How can I be a mentor to people? I really want to help. And the first question I ask is, that is awesome, right? But who is your coach? And I hear crickets. I hear crickets because they've never hired a coach or a mentor, or especially somebody at a top level and made that investment themselves. How can you ask somebody to make an investment in hiring you as a trainer, a coach, uh, an accountant, or anything else if you're not using the same services yourself? You can't. It's just not respectful. That it's out of integrity in my eyes. And see, I was being out of integrity because I get paid to go in and consult with big companies as well as small ones, people that are, are they're making a big change in the world. And I help them with their branding and their marketing, yet I wasn't doing it myself. So right here, right now, if you're listening to this, you're going to see a commitment. Go over to the site so you can laugh at it um, and then come back a month from now. And it should be totally different, hopefully a couple weeks from now, but I'll give myself a month, a little leeway. Uh, I want to play with my family too. So what I'm going to ask you today is where are you the shoemaker whose kids have no shoes? Is that in your mind, right? Are you doing, are you not doing the work, right? Are you not reading the books? Are you not taking the courses that allow you to be the author of your own story? Is it in your body? Are you giving people advice on, on diets as so many people do, yet you have no experience and you're not doing it yourself or workouts, you know, CrossFit's the best, kettlebells are the best, Pilates is the best, yoga is the best. But are you doing the work? Do you have the experience? No, where are you in the relationships? Are you giving your friends relationship advice? And I hear this all the time from many of you. You know, someone's giving you relationship advice, yet their marriage is crumbling and they haven't figured it out, right? Or maybe it's an idea of business, right? Maybe you're out there telling people how great your business is, yet yeah, when I peek behind the curtain, I know what your PL really says and what's really going on there. So where are you? 
And I invite you to be like me and laugh at it. Just look at it, be real, raw, relevant, and honest with yourself, and then just laugh. It's okay, we're human, we're all on this journey together. But once you recognize where you are giving advice, where your pillars aren't very strong, where you're giving advice and you're not doing it yourself, now, right here in this moment, it's the time to make the commitment and take that first small step, whatever that step is, on your journey and make sure you're doing what you're preaching. That's it for me today. As always, go to authorofyourownstory.com. We get the latest tips, tricks, and techniques delivered right to your inbox. And of course, share this with at least three people that you know that you think would actually get value out of this message. That's it. I have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, remember, go out and be the author of your own story. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.